Thursday, and in this video, I have for you a shoe haul from Swap.com. Guys, I love Swap.com. I feel like I can find better deals on that website more so than I do on ThreadUp. I think ThreadUp is getting like higher end thrift store. I don't know because I feel some of their prices are really high, where Swap.com, the prices are what they should be for a thrift store. So without further ado, let's see what I got from there. Okay, guys, so they sent it in a great big shipping box, and I wasn't even trying to show you guys the box and all of that fun stuff. But what I didn't realize is they sent most of the shoes in their shoe boxes. Most of these thrift stores do not send them to you in the shoe boxes. So I thought that was kind of odd and different, but I was happy to have the shoe boxes because I use them for other things, but I don't keep my shoes in those shoe boxes because I like to be able to see them and be able to easily find which ones I want to wear. So, uh, yeah, I just went ahead and took everything out of the box. I kind of have it stacked up here. I have my order list right here so I can tell you how much I paid for each pair of shoes. So let's get started. Let's start with these Enzo shoes right here. So these are Enzo, I don't know, and Galini. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm probably like butchering it, but you can see the shoe name on the inside of the shoe there. So I just got these because they are a basic uh, tan pump with an open toe, but um, these are a lot more damaged than I thought they were, guys. Let's see if we can get you guys uh, zoomed in on some of the damages. So here's some right here. And then um, when I turn to this side, it doesn't look to be too bad. But if I turn to this side here, we got some more damage here. We have some more damage down here. Um, surprisingly, the heel is not that damaged, which is rare. The bottoms look good, like they weren't worn very much. These are a size six. Um, the insides could have used like a little more cleaning in my opinion, but you know, let's look at the other one here really quickly. This one isn't too bad. We have some scuffs at the top here. Okay. This has some scuffs on this heel, which I expected the heels to be kind of bad because they normally are. But if I wanted to keep this shoe like this, oh, it's kind of dirty on the inside. Look at that guys. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you're going to see it or not, but I will, um, try to zoom in on it. But anyways, it's kind of dirty on the inside, but I can always, you know, of course I'm going to clean these out before I wear them anyways. But, um, I buy them damaged on purpose because I planned on turning these ones into something else because they're just, you know, blah, which isn't my style. I do have my tape measure out here because I do want to see what the heel height is. They advertise the heel height at four inches and above. They don't actually tell you the heel height of the shoe, which kind of stinks. So you just got to kind of eyeball it and see, this is a five inch heel. Okay, so we got five inches. I paid $11 for these. Guys, I didn't think they were that damaged. Now, I did buy them knowing that I was going to revamp them, but being as damaged as they are, I would have thought that they would have been at least half that price because these are pretty damaged. I understand they're this Enzo whatever. That doesn't even matter to me. So, I don't know, guys. I will have a try on at the end of the video, but, you know, here's this pair of shoes. I don't know. That's kind of disappointing because they are quite damaged. Okay, so this next pair came in the shoebox, Chinese long Laundry, laundry, Chinese laundry, laundry. I don't know. All right, guys, <laughs> let's just open up the. Ah, oh, so cute! I forgot about these. Ah, oh, how cute are these? Look at these. Ah, they're so cute. I'm loving these guys. Okay, ooh, we got some damage though. You see that right there? Look at that. Hmm. Whenever I can get that out. All right. So, do they charge extra for hair? I'm just saying. Ugh gross but ah these are so fun do you not love these with the pineapples and everything on them okay so the inside looks really good though i'm not sure of the heel height the bottoms look good oh, these are five and a half i get five and a half to a six but i prefer a size six but you know sometimes i gamble and we'll see let's check this other one out and see oh yeah we got some damage on this one too guys do you see this so on fix it friday i'm going to show you some of the techniques i'm going to use to fix the damages on these shoes but uh yeah so i mean i didn't realize they were that damaged but the inside does look really good i'm going to go ahead and do a quick measure of the heel height on the shoe where can i sit this while i do that okay because I do want to know what the heel heights are. And okay, this one's pretty darn close to six. 
awesome. So we're at like 5.75 inches, which is good. I mean, that's totally fine. So yay, this is almost a six inch heel, which is awesome. How much did I pay for those? $15. Okay, 15 bucks isn't too bad. Um, I mean, this isn't an expensive brand or anything like that. So it's actually kind of high for this brand, but I just couldn't pass these up because they're so stinking cute. How cute are these? These are adorable. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so that takes care of this pair. Now, where am I going to put them when I'm done with them? Guys, I can't wait until I get my craft studio done. I keep saying it, but I really can't wait. Oh, my gosh. I think those are mirrors. Hopefully, I didn't break them. All right, let's move on. Okay, so the next pair in here, I don't know. Here, here it doesn't say anything. It's got a nice, like, marbly kind of a box, though. All right, let's open it up. Oh, these are, like, brand spanking new. Oh, yeah. So these are... I don't know. Miyunsi? I have no idea. Here's the there we go. Here's the brand name. So yeah, I don't know, guys. Whatever. But look. Oh, these are in great shape. Look at these. Oh, baby. I think we got a six incher here, guys. Yay! Looks like it's six inches from me. Looking at it, they're a size 36. They are brand spanking new. Look at those. These are cute. Okay, so I probably <laughs> won't touch these most likely but yeah these are brand spanking new awesome guys these are gorgeous these are really pretty okay so let me go ahead and do a quick measure of the heel height because you know that's important to me it might not be important to you but it's important to me so here we go oh no 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 five and a half incher five and a half inches okay that's all right guys they are still super cute again i will have try on at the end of the video i think these are size oh they're size 36 okay so i paid ten dollars for those what a great deal i mean they're brand new ten dollars i think that was my best deal so far and the one that i'm the most happy with so far so the next one comes in this little box here rachel roy rachel roy okay Let's, oh, these are fun. I forgot what I got in case you guys aren't telling. Oh, these look thin. These are new too. Oh, well, that heel's low though. Oh, baby, that is low. Okay, look how cute that is. Ah, I probably just couldn't pass them up because look how the intricate detail on the heel here. Oh, how awesome is that? Look at that, guys. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at that. Brand spanking new. We have some nice sequins on there. Ah, oh, Rachel Roy. I don't know that you like designer but you know what they got some great branding do you see that on the bottom of the shoe there super cute okay so the other shoe looks to be you know brand spanking new awesome okay so this is another new pair of shoes let's go ahead and do a quick i'm gonna be disappointed i know it all right oh not that disappointed okay five inches all right i mean it's disappointing but this is a really cute shoe so i'll totally rock that all right twelve dollars ah <laughs> what a great deal guys oh my god that's awesome so 12 bucks for these super cute shoes i mean these are really cute all right five inches though you know it is what it is but for 12 dollars oh what a deal okay so i don't know who this um shoe brand is but you know here's that <laughs> So let's, oh, these are so cute. Can you tell that I like kind of forgot what I got? But that's okay. <gasps> these are brand new too. Ah, how fun are these? Ah, don't you love them? I absolutely love them. So these are great. They've got the, um, what do you call this braiding on the bottom? I don't know. But these are super cute. Darion. I don't know. And they are brand spanking new, guys. Look at that. Brand new shoes. Oh, my gosh. And this color is amazing. Ah. I love them. I mean, I really love them. It looks like we have another five inch here, though. Again, really fun branding on the bottom of the shoe. Let's go ahead and um, 12 bucks for these. Ah, what great deals, guys. $12. So the other one that was like a bust was that first pair. Okay, so I can live with that. Okay, so we are at like five and a half inches on these ones. So that's okay. I mean, these are super, super cute, guys. So the other one that was a bust was this pair right here. It's like, I feel like I paid way too much for them. $11 for shoes that are this damaged. I just think that that is way overpriced. I don't mind paying like five bucks, six bucks for a shoe that has a good structure, but just needs some work. But um, I am a little disappointed that... Um, 
they are this damaged. Again, I knew I was buying them damaged, but in the photos that they showed, I just couldn't tell how damaged they were. So that's a little bit disappointing. But overall, this was a great haul, guys. I love Swap.com. I've gotten quite a few things from there, but I haven't shopped on there for a while. I was just kind of looking through shoes on ThreadUp, and they were just so high priced. I mean, like, $30 was the cheapest pair of shoes I could get. And I'm thinking, man, this is supposed to be secondhand thrift store. And I just feel like that's kind of expensive. So I just kind of got put off by shopping on there. So I went ahead and started shopping on swap.com. And that's how I found all of these pairs of shoes. So that's awesome. So that's my first shoe haul for this year. But I want to get into more of the crazier pairs of shoes that I wear. So I'm hoping that I can do a haul on that very soon. I'm shopping a few different sites for that. AliExpress and eBay are usually where I get shoes like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put my cards together and, you know, see where I can find the best deal because sometimes it's eBay, sometimes it's AliExpress for the exact same pair of shoes. So I like to shop around. I do shop on Wish, but I don't find very many hits on the kind of shoes that I want to get on Wish. So I really don't shop on there that often for shoes. Sometimes I get lucky, but it's super rare. So even when I do order the shoes, guys, it's going to be weeks before they come in maybe even a month, especially from AliExpress with the way things are going nowadays. So, I mean, even when I do place the order, you guys aren't going to see that haul for a little while, but I do definitely want to keep doing these thrifty Thursdays because I do shop regularly for various different things. So it might be helpful for you guys to learn about these sites and uh, learn about the deals that they have and maybe how to shop on them a little bit. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and start this new day, but they won't be all the time. They'll just be when I have hauls available to show you. All right, guys, that's all I got for you in this video video and I'll catch you in my next one. Okay, guys, so this next part was supposed to be the try-on where I'm trying on the shoes and playing some really fun music and just, like, kind of prancing around with the shoes on. But uh, that didn't quite work out, so I'm going to show you why I couldn't film it that way. And then I'm just going to show you pictures at the very end of me in the shoes. <laughs> what do you think about the shoes, sir? Get your foot out. <laughs> Get your... <laughs> DIY and other stuff. My name is... I just feel like something's off. I don't know what it is. I just have to start again. Today is Thrifty Thursday and in this video I have for you a haul. It's a shoe haul. I should say shoe haul. Try it again. <laughs> and in this video I have for you a shoe haul from Swap.com. Swap. Swap. Swap, swap, swap. Try it again. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> 